<laughs> Vad är det den här? <laughs> yeah, that's good on camera. <laughs> ACS Gas Training The Journey. My name's Alan Hart, and today I wanted to do a, just a short video on one of the trainees that's been with me, and it's been such a joy to have Cully working with me, and he's from Viva Training Academy, and I wanted to show you his journey and some of the things that he's learned while working with me. Um, Cully is a retrainee. Um, some people call it fast track, but it's not. It's not fast track, so it's not. They're not doing a fast track plumbing course or fast track gas course. They're retraining. And um, Cully, his job in the past was working on aeroplanes. So I'm sure that he'll be, I'm sure he'll go a long way in, in this job. Anyway, let's go and have a look. On Cully's first day with me, I totally dropped him in the deep end. I gave him the instructions for a boxy boiler and I asked him to strip the boxy boiler down and then I asked him to put it back together again. And he did an absolute amazing job of this. You could clearly see that he's got what it takes. He was putting all the screws back in, in the in the right places so that so screws didn't get lost. So really, really good. So this is your gas pipe. Um, very important to um, make sure you've got your washer and it's Fully tighten? Yeah, yeah, tighten it up, spray it, test it, make sure that it's not leaking gas. Yeah. What are you doing up there? I am cementing the flue hole, as you can see. On this one, um, Chloe we're doing a landlord gas safety check. So it's the first, the first landlord safety check that he'd done with me. So he's testing the gas. He's now taking a gas fire out. And it, it, it got a little bit of a shock on this one. I'll show you this one shortly. So he's taking coals out. And then he's going to take the take the full tray out. We need to inspect the flue on these boilers. So you must remove the fire. Oh, what the hell? Like a bird in here. Oh, you're a fucking bird in there. What the fuck? <laughs> so he got a bit of a shock there. He found found a bird in there. There's another bird underneath, you know what I mean? <laughs> no, no, I've gone past that stage. While the fire has been removed, he's doing a flue flow test. So he's put a smoke bomb into the chimney and then he's going outside and making sure that the chimney pots make sure they're not mixing. He's also going to go up into the loft, make sure that we're checking the full route of the chimney. And also we would close the windows and doors in the room while we're doing that smoke bomb check. After he's done the flue flow test, he's going to test the inlet pressure or the working pressure when the burner is on. And he's also going to do a spillage test as well. And we're also going to gas rate it and record all the information in the landlord gas safety sheet. He's also checking the oven on this landlord gas safety check. He's found the data badge and he's downloaded the insulation instructions so he can make sure that it's safe. He's also looking to make sure it's got a stability device. We're also checking the boiler on this job. So this is a full landlord gas safety check. Make sure the boiler's safe. Tested the inlet pressure, tested the working pressure, and then spraying the test nipple afterwards to make sure that we've got no gas leaks on there. He's also tested the boiler with the flue gas analyzer. Tested it on high. And then he's also put it into, he's put it into service mode and put it onto high. And then he's put it into service mode on low to check the high and low readings for the, analy for the analyzer. And then I've also let him have the experience of fully recording the job. So he's completed the landlord gas safety sheet. So this is another boiler service. This is an ideal Vogue boiler service. And Cullet is just doing his electrical checks on this. So it's very important that you do your electrical checks on jobs. This is a Potterton boiler. And we're just doing a landlord check on this one. 
So it's just doing a tightness test at the meter. I'm also going to pump the expansion vessel up on this boiler and fully strip it down. So colour has got the burner, checking the burner out, checking the burner seal, make sure it's safe. He's also got a Wiesmann boiler here. So this is a Wiesmann 100. And on one of his previous videos, he fully stripped this down. So he took all the heat exchanger out on this one. And now we've got another Baxi, a Baxi boiler. Again, fully stripping them down and doing a proper service on these boilers. So now we're just going to another Baxi boiler service and he's just checking. So he's doing prove, use, prove. So he's gonna do his electrical checks. And if we have a look there, we can see that the wire is too close to the gas pipe. So the wire that's around the gas pipe, that should be a minimum of 25 millimeters away from that pipe. I've also done a full service on a Wiesmann Vitadens 100 system boiler. So it's been fully, fully cleaned out. And it's got a little tool, a little Wiesmann tool in there. So that's a proper tool from Wiesmann and doing that a good, good clean out. Obviously we removed the burner and the seal is a little bit damaged. So it's putting a new burner seal in. See there, it's just gonna put a new burner seal on there and then it's put new electrodes in as well. This boiler, I think it was about 10 years old. Also, we've removed the heat exchanger on this. Again, a very, very easy job and we're putting new hoses on the new rubber hoses on them. He's also been out to Worcester Bosch boilers and pumped the expansion vessels up, very, very easy to do. And also tested the burner seals. Always check the burner seal on a Worcester. So this one had failed. Almost all of them that I've got to now have failed. So they will need, normally always need replacing. So just check that on a service. I've got another tightness test here. He's done quite a lot of these tests now with me. And we're just removing a Baxi, a Baxi boiler. So this is an old Baxi 105. It's just leaking a little bit. And customer just wants a new boiler. Um, they just want it replacing. They want a boiler with a long warranty. So we're taking this boiler out. And we're fitting them a new boiler. So it's a new Wiesmann boiler. It's a new Wiesmann 050. And this boiler has a 10 year parts and labour warranty. And then it's just going to cement the flue up as well, outside with sand and cement. I've also spent quite a lot of time looking at different flues. So this is a balanced flue. And as you can see here, it's too close to the window. And then we've got another flue here that stuck out too far. I've also spent a bit of time looking at badly installed condensate pipes. So this is overflow out of the wall, goes outside. It's got some lagging on, but it's not the correct lagging. And then it terminates just onto the path. So some badly installed condensate pipes. And then we've got another one here that's had to be smashed off because it's blocked up. And then I'm shown, showing him how to install it correctly. Or Cully has actually installed this correctly. So it's been lagged with the correct lagging, waterproof lagging. Also the importance of checking the flow rate when you're quoting for a new boiler. So you can choose the correct size of boiler. He's also been out to many boiler faults or central heating faults. This, this one was a burnt out zone valve and we replaced the zone valve on this one. So we put a new zone valve in. So it's all burnt out is this one. You just see that it's all melting. Also learned that the importance of flushing a heating system. And then once you've flushed the heating system to test it afterwards, and prove that you've done a good job. So we tested it with the AD Pro check and then the customer's got proof that the, the job has been flushed when it was installed. On this job, we've got them stripping the boiler down and then testing the components and then I've got them phoning the manufacturers to see what the readings should be. 300 ohms. 3,600 ohms, that perfect is that? Um, I'll give that a little look, look now. Thank you very much for your help. What was the first one? Okay. So what you're doing there, take your burner out now. Yeah, it's stuck out. So this back here, these are your injectors, look. Yeah. So sometimes these can get a little bit 
blocked. like blocked up and stuff like that, and you might have to clean them out. You'd have to be careful though. But these apprentices are working so hard. I burnt my drill out. <laughs> Good job is that. How easy is that? Very easy. Let's start to do now underneath. This is the Condensate Pro waterproof lagging that's been installed here so it doesn't freeze. What are you doing now? Gas uh, rating. So I've just got these guys both doing a gas rate now to make sure that everything's working okay. So that's just some of the many many jobs that Cully has been on and done with myself. Uh, I hope you'll all wish him well. He's been absolutely amazing, really, really amazing. Uh, I've got a few more jobs with him um, this week actually. So we're doing um, we're doing some gas services and stuff um, today, and then we're doing we're doing a boiler swap um, the next two days after that. I think that's Wednesday, Thursday, um, and then that should be it. Um, Hopefully I'll be passing him back to Viva Training Academy and they can do whatever they need to do. But um, he's a really, really good guy. As I say, it's been it's been brilliant, to be honest. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye-bye, Cully, and good luck for the future. He's just having a little drive in my car, self-drive. So all the people asking about the Tesla... Yes, we're still using it as a work van and it's absolutely amazing for, for working out of.